So let's move on. So now I'm going to do a second example. And so for this example, I'm going to show you how to um, how to actually run inference with BrainFrame. And in this case, we're going to run inference on um, on single images. And so I'm going to load images from my file system and we're going to process it. And I'm going to look for cats inside of those images. And so, um, so before I begin, I want to show you. So the BrainFrame server I'm running here has these capsules loaded. So I have a, a person and vehicle detector. And so you can see if I go here, these are these are the capsules that I have loaded. I have a, a person vehicle detector, a person encoder, and a person tracker. So our person vehicle detector actually defaults to just showing people in vehicles, but it can detect some animals. We just, uh, by default, we filter that out. So we're going to be using that feature today. And you can see the, uh, the bounding box is working on me by default here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's create a new Python file here. So um, crawl image directory. Great. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time. So I'm going to import, uh, let me make this big. I'm going to import the API. I'm going to set the URL. And I'm going to use the same URL as my client. And then I'm going to show you some of the uh, plugins uh, uh, APIs. So, uh, or capsule. So, uh, our API has several, um, several formats of getting the capsule information. Uh, in our API docs, we call them plugins, but whenever we say plugins, just think capsules. It's sort of a relic of an older time there. So, I'm going to call get plugins. And so, this is analogous to the, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, there we go. So this is the same as the get plugins API here. And so it will return a data structure with the uh, all the a list of the different plugins, the name, version, description of the capsule, all that. And so I can actually run this here. And we can see that we have a couple of different capsules loaded. So you can see, um, you know, we have one called tracker person. We have um, a uh, person and vehicle detector. Yeah, we have this capsule here. And we can see what kind of things it outputs. There's all kinds of information here. Uh, it's quite a bit of information, so I'm not going to show all of it. But um, with this information, what I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the names of all the capsules. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to print all of the names of the capsules that I have loaded. So here you can see we have a person tracker, a uh, person detector and a person encoder. So now what we want to do is we want to run inference on an image. So um, I'm going to paste in here a directory full of images. And so this is uh, this is just, uh, you know, just a couple images. But um, let's pretend you have uh, 10,000 images and you wanted to find every image that had a cat in it. Right, so we have a lot of images of different things, and then we have one image of a cat. So we want to find this image, and we want BrainFrame to find it for us. So we're going to use the process image API, and we're going to tell BrainFrame to look for cats. So the first thing we're going to do here is um, we're going to crawl through this directory. So I'm going to copy this path here. 
and I'll call it a uh, image archive. And we're going to use the uh, pathlib library. Oops, okay. So I'm just, I just have here the, um, the path to the image directory. And then I'm going to iterate, iterate over here. So I'm going to look at image, all the images in that path. And we're going to tell BrainFrame to process those images. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to load the image into memory. So we'll use OpenCV for that. And um, what you do is you give it an image array. So we do a cv2.read. So this will this will load the image into memory, and then uh, we can pass that off to our API object. And so we're using the um, we're using this API now. We're going to use the process image API. And so this API requires that you upload an image to the server, and then it will return to you um, it will return to you all of the information about that image, the location of objects the names of the objects, and any other information that the capsules gave you. So far, so good, I hope. I know it's uh, pretty technical here. So, um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use uh, the api.processImage function. And so this one requires a loaded image. So I'll pass it the loaded image. And it also requires a list of plugin names. So these are the capsules you're going to run inference with. So in this case, um, we want to run inference with our uh, person and vehicle detector. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And then it also asks you to fill in the, uh, the capsule options. And so um, when you go into a capsule, to explain what that is, you can see here the names of the capsules, and then you can see all of these options here, right? So these are different options that the capsule enables you, the user, to change. So for example, our person and vehicle detector has a option called filter mode, which allows you to change what kind of things that capsule can detect. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fill in the option values here. And it's for this capsule. And we're going to change the filter mode option. And we're going to filter for only animals. So we want this, we're essentially telling this capsule that we want to receive all of the animal detections in this, uh, in this image that we're processing here. So right now, this will upload the image to the server run this capsule on it with these options, and it will return to us the detections. So we can expect to receive um, a, uh, a list of different detections. So we're expecting cats, cat here. And we're, we're going to know the location of the cats and um, all the different information about it. So here we're going to receive detections. So let's go ahead and try this. Um, so, so we're going to print out the image that we process. We'll run this. Right, and so we need to fix that. Okay. Great. And so you can see um, we were able to process these images and it ran through all of the images and it got different detections from here. Um, and um, OK, that's kind of interesting. So it didn't seem to pay attention to um, the uh, options for the filter mode here. Let's go back here. Let's 
So this is a, a pretty good opportunity to look at the capsule itself. So I'm, I'm trying to find out the option name for filtering out animals only. Okay, so you can see here the, the name of the option is only animals. So I'm going to do that instead. Great, so now I'll run processing again. And you'll see that this image, that none of these other images got detections. And this image did. So we, we found um, in cat picture one, we were able to find the, the cat. Fantastic. And so here is where you can add the rest of the logic. So you know, if there's uh, um, any detections, we can say, um, you know, um, we can print out for that image that we got the detections. So we can see that there's one cat. So yeah, that's that's sort of a, a quick example of how to use brain frame upload images, um, use capsule options to customize the kind of um, processing you're going to do on that image, and then how to receive those results and parse them in a what can only be described as semi-useful way.